Welcome back to Nifty 50 Photographers. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can use your smartphone as a remote control for the Sony a7 III camera. Are you continually frustrated because you keep missing out on trying to capture those special moments? Perhaps you're running around trying to get from one side of the tripod to the other to get yourself in frame and you can't be in two places at once. Well, good news for you. With the Wi-Fi connection that you can set up from your Sony a7 III and your smartphone, you can now use it as a remote control. That means you can be wherever you like, take complete control of your camera settings and take your photos, see on your smartphone screen what image your camera is going to be taking. First word of warning, now this applies to the Sony a7 III. If you're using a Sony a7 IV or an a7R5 or one of the new video cameras like the FX30, this particular app I'm going to talk about doesn't work for that, you need a different app. And I'll make a video about that uh, perhaps in a week or two um, so you can see how to do it with those cameras. In the meantime, if you go to the Sony page or I'm going to put links actually in the description. I'll put links to both the iOS and the Android app for the Sony Imaging Edge mobile app. That is what you need to download onto your phone to be able to use it as a remote control for your Sony a7 III. The first thing to do is to download and get that app installed. Now, once you've got that installed, you need to switch over to your camera and go to the network menu. Now, first thing to do is go to this option uh, that is control with smartphone. Click into that and make sure that the connection is turned on. Once you've done that, you can go back to the app and add a new camera. Now you can ignore registering these models it shows here because that's not your Sony a7 III and choose other models. Once you've done that, it should come up with a QR code that you can scan with your phone. So scan that, it'll ask if you want to join the network and the network name is the name it's given to your camera. For. So you should see ILCE-7M3 in there and perhaps a number at the start. So that's the one you want to join to create that Wi-Fi connection between your phone and your camera. Once that's established, you'll then have all the controls on your smartphone and you'll see exactly what your camera's looking at on your smartphone's display. I can now control all the different functions that you see there. So I can change the aperture. I can change the ISO. I can add some exposure compensation. And by pressing this button here in the center, I can take the photograph right from my phone. Now just one other word of caution, whatever settings you've put in manually on your camera and whatever adjustments make, they will also be mirrored onto the uh, remote control app. So if something funny is going on, just check what settings you've got. Once your camera has taken the photo, it'll display what it's taken on the screen so you've got a chance to go back and take another shot if you're not happy with it. Now, the other great thing is you can also record video from here. Just make sure your camera is set into a video mode and you'll see that the shutter button now changes to be a record button. And you simply press that when you want the recording to start. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at anything very interesting here. And then press it again when you want it to stop. Simple as that. And in the same way, you can adjust any settings that you needed to. One of the ways I find it particularly useful, I'm often in a confined space. I do a lot of property photography. Things like bathrooms can often be small and confined, especially in ensuite. So the great thing about this is I can set my camera up right in a corner so I can get the maximum view of the bathroom. I can stand outside. I can see exactly what I'm taking on my smartphone make any adjustments that I need to and capture the shot and be confident I've got just what I wanted. Well, there's your chance to go out and unleash your full potential. Not only can you do things like take pictures in confined spaces, you can use it when you want to avoid camera shake. You can also use it for taking selfies because you can see exactly what the camera is going to take. Long exposure photographs, any videography, you know, the list is unlimited. Go out there and be creative. Now, I hope you've found that tip useful and it'll help you to get more out of your camera. If you have enjoyed it, 
please do give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, you know the story. And in the meantime, go out and practice, have some fun using your smartphone as a remote, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.